What's up guys, Tristan here with another YouTube video. Today we're gonna talk about Pro Gym in Montreal, Canada and how they got busted selling steroids. Now, I don't know 100% if they were caught sold selling steroids, but they were caught for something related to steroids, whether they were giving it out, whether they were storing it there, whether they were distributing it. I wanna go and show you how I came across this and then kind of just a general kind of like discussion based around you know, steroids and gyms and supplement stores and things like that and give my thoughts on it. Starting the recording now. So as you can see, it's a very recognized gym. You know, there's like the Pure Muscle and Fitness of Canada, there's the West Coast Iron, where uh, Chris Bunstead and Ian Vallier, Vallier, I don't know, uh, were training, Pure Muscle and Fitness, where you've seen guys like uh, Brandon Harding training, uh, and several other IFBB pro bodybuilders. And then there's Pro Gym in Montreal, which as you can see, uh, Antoine Vaillant, uh, who is a IFBB pro open bodybuilder, who is, uh, you know, very renowned in the bodybuilding war world, really funny guy, I like watching his videos. And he trained there, so it's definitely one of those, uh, you know, it's a pro, you know, gym. Uh, Quint Beastwood was there. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else in here. A lot of uh, workouts with uh, Antoine Vaillant at, you know, Pro Gym. So it's definitely like, you know, a f somewhat famous gym. And I was going through, and I get, I don't know how I get onto these, you know, pages, but I had found, you know, this spot, Recalls and Safety Alerts. And this is the health. Canadians.gc.ca. You can look it up. I'll link it down below. This is public information, and I was really surprised that I didn't find this uh, anybody covering this anywhere. You know, and maybe some of you think like it's just like a normal thing that gyms and supplements have this, but to like a regular person, this would be like astonishing. I don't know how this hasn't achieved like newsworthy stuff or anything like that, and. Uh, it's just a little crazy to me. So if we scroll down, you see a lot of different uh, products that are unauthorized health products. And you'll see like 3,800 3, hard rock sexual enhancement it contains Yohimbi, which is Yohimbine bark extract, which can um, is normally used as like a cutting agent, uh, to, you know, to burn fat, targeting the alpha two adrenergic receptors but uh, it can also be uh, used for sexual enhancement. And this was sold by a company called African Market, which is probably a supplement store. And you have several different ones like this. So, several different stores selling different things that are banned in here. Tadalafil is Cialis, so that was seized. Uh, and it had the name Lucky Lady. The names on the, some of these products is really funny. But now to the juicy stuff, and I scroll down, and I see some very recognizable, you know, products, which is like Carterine, workout supplement that is uh, used for like cardio and improving cardiovascular uh, endurance. Pro Gym, Sergi, Moreau. So this is the Pro Gym in Montreal. So if we look up Moro Inc. Montreal, Canada, and we search it up, you get Pro Gym. Now, maybe they changed. No, that is the exact address of this place. So they have it, they haven't moved since then. Seized from the retail location on October 30th, 2019. Now, Carterine isn't like, you know, super crazy or anything like that. I've used Carterine before. Um, I've also used Tadalafil, which they were also selling as well under the name CIA25, which obviously stands for Cialis. Okay, and then we get down to the juicier stuff, and look what we got here. DEC 200 workout supplement labeled to contain Nandrolone decanoate, which a lot of you will know is DECA. Um, Pro Gym, seized. And then we have Drostanolone, Propionate, which is uh, labeled correctly. 
A lot of these have some different weird names of, uh, you know, random things. And this is, uh, this is Matt Masteron, Pro Gym, again. Then we got EQ, aka Boldenone, Undesalinate, Pro Gym again. You know, this is, this is a very renowned gym. And it seems like they were selling some of this stuff or just giving it away. I doubt they were selling, uh, just giving it away. These are expensive products, especially when they're sold for, you know, people doing long cycles of, uh, you know, certain things. And they're good. They, they have some like hardcore stuff here too. Like not just, uh, they have SARMs as well, LGD. Then they got MK677, which is a hormone, growth hormone secretagogue. And then we have, uh, <laughs> this name's funny. So this is Navar, which is obviously uh, Oxandrolone, which is Anavar, which is an oral steroid. Progen, once again. And then we got Norvatrop, which is, I forget what this, this one is, uh, this is growth hormone actually, or some sort of form of growth hormone. I'm not sure if uh, this is like the one that we all know in, uh, you know, a lot of people use for in bodybuilding, uh, but the, yeah, this is supposed to be growth hormone. If we look it up, and they have it here, it, somatotropin is a prescription drug that contains human growth hormone. It is used to treat children or adults with stunned growth caused by their body's inability to produce sufficient amounts of natural growth hormones. And if we go down, 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 down. They don't talk about any like bodybuilding or anything like that, but I'm sure uh, that's what they were using it for if it was seized like that. So, then they got Austrian, which is another SARM, MK28, and Austrian again, Rad 140, and they got all the testosterones, so all the different esters like propionate, phenylpropionate, isocaproate, which I don't even know what that one is, decanoate, enanthate, decanoate, decanate, deca decanoate. Whoops, can't even say that. All pro gym guys. Got testosterone and anthate again. The names are really interesting. They just put like test 400. I forget what this exactly means. I think this is just like how many milligrams it is per milliliter. So in general, testosterone and anthate will come in 250 milligrams per milliliter. And we got a few fat burners as well. Thyroland Metabolic Optimizer. Sick name, bro. Johanbein, caffeine, and synephrine. Crazy if they're putting all those together. Well, it's not that crazy, actually. YK11, another SARM, which is kind of a dangerous uh, SARM with a very little research on this product, I believe. Johanbein again, and then Johanbein. So we got things like growth hormone, all the testosterones, nandrolone, anivar, mastron, Surprised we don't see like finasteride on here or uh, you know clenbuterol, things like that. Maybe they just uh, they didn't have that in stock in that day. But all of these were seized on a big day. This was not a good day for Pro Gym. On October thirtieth, twenty nineteen. They were uh, they were hit pretty hard. So yeah, I, I'm not I'm unsure if. You know they were selling this just giving it away or um, you know this was just a place for some like the high-profile bodybuilders to keep their gear or they were just selling it to the pro bodybuilders they were giving it to kids I don't want to say that nothing like that I don't know if it was anything crazy you know this is nothing different than some dude just selling it um, you know out of his basement or something um, but I think a big takeaway from this is that you need to know exactly where uh, you know your products are coming from. If you're just buying it from a local gym, you don't know if they're making it. You know, if anything, um, you should just be going to your doctor. I'm not going to help you, you know, figure out where to find gear or steroids, but um, you should obviously be going to your doctor. Find getting it from like a place like a gym, probably not your best bet. Going to the biggest guy in the gym, probably not your best bet. Not to go to those guys. And you know, this, this brings up like an interesting topic about how, you know, widespread, you know, steroid use is. Before I started, um, you know, getting on the anabolic train, um, I didn't, I didn't really realize how, you know, widespread it was. As soon as I started talking about it, people would just reveal to me like left, right and center that they were on gear. 
I uh, just started getting like big and I would go to like a bar or something and a guy would see me in the bathroom he was like dude what are you using like what are you like I was totally thinking about getting on a cycle I talked to all my uh, uh, um, so like then there's like you know friends of, have, of mine I'll go to like a party and a guy who's like oh yeah I did a cycle like you would find like five five guys that all did cycles and you get friends that are like hey can I get on it like it's way more widespread than you think and I heard from a friend that you know I think in like the early 2000s a lot of supplement stores had it and you know from this evidence that we're seeing here from like pro gym having their products seized not their, their products seized it makes me think that it's a lot more prevalent than you'd think you know supplement stores gyms are all carrying it to get you know a little bit of an extra buck you know and it's just uh, very interesting to me and I think it's becoming a lot more mainstream or it's always just been very mainstream uh, to you know like gym goers that just want to get an extra edge and there's nothing wrong with doing it I think um, a lot of people place a very negative stigma towards it but if you're not doing everything in your power to you know negate the side effects keep your health in check you're not getting blood work and things like that that's where it get, gets a negative rap where people abuse them they die at a young age or they start going bald they get a ton of acne um, things like that or they get gyno they need gyno surgery so a lot of these things um, people don't really understand about you know gear and steroids is that it needs to be taken extremely seriously you're putting that, uh, hormones directly into your body and those like directly affect everything your mood sex in the bedroom uh, it can affect your hair it can affect your, uh, your nipples they can become very sensitive and you develop gyno which is like a fat lump uh, in, in them that makes them look a lot different and you know people need to take a long look at why they want to do it and what are the reasons to do it and uh, I would highly suggest not doing it nothing against pro gym I was just very surprised that no one has ever covered this I was looking around for a decent bit trying to figure out if someone had actually talked about this but no one has found you know this page and saw all of this and you know I may be blowing this out of proportion and there's nothing against like pro gym it's just uh it was just crazy to me to see that you know this company this gym had been selling steroids most likely anyways guys that's gonna wrap up the video Please leave a comment down below what you thought about the video, what you think about Pro Gym. Have you ever worked out there? Is it cool? Have you ever bought steroids from there? <laughs> uh, any information would be really cool to see down in the comments below. And what do you think about uh, how how mainstream do you think you know steroids are in you know like the mainstream population? How many uh, supplement stores do you know that have been selling gear? That's it for me. One last thing I just want to plug, uh, Young LA. This Wednesday, I believe, they're going to be doing a big drop at 12 p.m. PST. This is the Slub Tank. It is fully premium cotton. This is very, very comfortable. Uh, they got the, like, the little logo here. And, you know, I really, really love their stuff. These are their track pants, which are really sick. They're super comfortable. I love wearing everything from Young LA, so I couldn't recommend it anymore. If you use code Tristan, you get 15% off. Um, and everything goes really fast. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Tristan underscore Nigro. And I will be posting a lot of different information on this drop because there's a lot of really, really cool stuff. So make sure you do that. And if you're watching this as well, you can use my code at Gorilla Mind to get all of the uh, amazing supplements and pre-workouts from their site. Today, when this video is posted, you will be able to get 20% off using code Tristan only for two days on Amazon Prime Day sale. You'll be able to get 20% off, which is more than, which is double the normal 10% for discount codes for Gorilla Mind. So if you want some really efficaciously dosed pre-workouts that really work, keep you focused, locked in, energized, and give you the best pumps you've ever had, then go to GorillaMind.com, use code Tristan for 10% off. Thank you guys. That's all for me today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Peace.